once upon a time, two young girls sat in the garden, and one taught the other girl how to crochet. It was a very long time ago now, but the crochet has continued in my life. I come to it from time to time, gather up my materials, put in some of it, and produce something very charming. Crochet was wildly popular in the early part of the 20th century. Not only among the working class, but also society ladies, like Lady Duff Gordon. Because the pretty lace was comparatively easy and quick to make, and they loved to adorn their uh, clothes, their lingerie, night, night clothes, and outerwear with this beautiful, attractive lace. Now it does take some practice, but it's worth it. Recently I sat and in the garden and made a bookmark choosing insertion from this book. It's called Daisy and Forget-Me-Not. Here it is. So I practiced and then made the little rings for the Forget-Me-Not. and the larger daisies. When they were finished, I starched them and pinned them in place. This is quite tricky to join up the different motifs, but I kept at it. I made a surround and produced a very pretty bookmark. It's so pretty that I chose one of my best books, a leather-bound copy of the poems of Tennyson, my favourite poets. And you can see how pretty it is against the paper. Creamy ecru lace. Against the old creamy ivory paper. It's a joy to use. There we are. Crochet lace.